This new year, state troopers and safety advocates urging all of us to go back to the driving basics to help save lives. More than 300 people died on Utah roads last year for the second year in a row. As news specialist Jed Bull shows us, small changes in our driving behaviors can make a big difference in safety. Jed? State troopers continue to see more and more aggressive and reckless driving. So safety advocates tell me that we each need to commit to a culture of safety and get back to the basics to protect each other out on the roads. Let's be safe and cautious and courteous as we drive through it the year 2023. The basics begin with buckling up and following the speed limit. But UHP Sergeant Brian Peterson tells me it takes more to improve overall safety. Along with speeding, tailgating is one of the most persistent aggressive driving behaviors that leads to deadly crashes. Uh, the law says that we should follow at a two second following distance, which I don't know anybody in Utah that does that, it seems like. So we need to increase that following distance. That's one of the major causes to crashes that we see every single day. If the car in front of us reacts to a hazard, we need time and space to adjust. If we're tailgating, we cannot. Tailgating can also escalate into road rage. We're really coming out this New Year's begging and asking people to go back to the basics and the fundamentals. Be, be courteous, be kind. Courtesy and kindness are cornerstones of safe driving. We all need to look at ourselves in the mirror and, and say, what can we do to improve uh, driving, driving safety on our roads? At an intersection or school crossing, we should anticipate pedestrians, come to a complete stop, and be on the lookout and not in a hurry to roll through. Be prepared to merge into traffic and to allow other vehicles to merge. Use your blinkers before making a turn or changing lanes. So the other cars around you know what your intention is. Um, it allows them time to react, to slow down, create a little bit more space for you to move in uh, safely. Signal for two seconds, then move one lane. And not just moving over three or four lanes at one time. Keeping our cars properly maintained and serviced are also part of the basics for safety. We need good tire treads, working windshield wipers, and also a full tank of gas whenever we're out this time of year. For KSL 5 News, I'm Jed Bowles.